My younger sister, Summer, and I was invited to be the host for a little show on the Asian Food Channel called Home Cooked Vietnam. It was really fun uh, working in a professional studio with the professional crew. One of the dishes that we made in the show is called Bò Nhung Ơ or Beef in Chili Hot Pot. Many of you like the idea of the recipe and request to see it on my channel. So here it is. Let's begin. Ellen's recipes. You will need two small tomatoes or one large one, one red bell pepper, a few red chili peppers, and some hot chilies like bird eye chilies if you can take spicy. Remove the seeds and cut all these vegetables into small chunks. Combine all in the food processor and blix to puree. Wow, the smell is really powerful and the color looks pretty scary, doesn't it? For the broth of the hot pot, you're gonna need some fresh coconut juice. You can buy it fresh or frozen or even in a can. Okay, so combine the red puree and the coconut juice in the saucepan. Season with half a teaspoon of salt, two teaspoons of chicken stock, and a teaspoon of sugar. Stir well to dissolve. To thicken it, you need two teaspoons of cornstarch or tapioca starch. Stir to dissolve and break up the lumps if any. For the aroma, you're gonna need three stalks of lemongrass, slightly pressed with a pestle or a meat tenderizer, and three slices of ginger, also smashed. You also need one small onion, cut crosswise into thin slices, and then separate the layers to get the rings. I've bought uh, some pre-sliced beef today at the supermarket. If you buy the whole piece, you can freeze for about an hour and then slide against the grain into really thin slices. Arrange the onion rings on top for some presentation. You can pretty much use any kind of vegetables that you like. Here I have some bitter garlic. I slit lengthwise to open and then remove the seeds and cut into thin rings. You can use zucchini or celery to replace. I also have here some cabbage, Chinese celery, and some pennywood leaves, or you can use um, rau dang or bitter herbs. Now bring the spicy red broth to the boil and simmer for a couple of minutes, stirring occasionally until it's slightly thickened. Then add the aromatics, the lemongrass, ginger, and cook for a couple of minutes until it's really fragrant. Now I'll take a piece of beef and dip into the boiling hot pot. Any more vegetables of your choice, add some instant ramen noodles to make it more filling. When it cooked to your liking, just take it out to your bowl and enjoy. It's really tasty, even though it's really scary red. It's not unbearably spicy because I just used one bara chili peppers. It's a really great drinking snack. I hope you give it a try and send me a photo if you do on Instagram with hashtag Helen Recipes. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.